Hello guys and welcome back. Uh, in this video I wanted to talk about references and uh, I, I don't have, I haven't done any uh, extensive research or anything like that. I'll gather a couple of videos uh, for next week. I don't have anything major. Personally for me it's all about the visual. Uh, I don't think references have helped me drastically drive how my uh, destruction looks like it's more about getting that cinematic look and even if you look at the various uh, work done in different movies and cinematics and things like that they are not really uh, based on real reference so the main goal is to get something that looks visually pleasing and interesting uh, we always have to keep that physical physicality the the weight the physics and make it feel natural make the weight feel natural and all that information we cannot simply sacrifice all that but in terms of visual in terms of details i don't have a, a magic bullet for all this i highly encourage you guys to go through all the movies that you like and analyze the visual analyze what you see and uh um and, and try to replicate or build a visual library of things that you can try in your own uh, examples. For me, when I was working on this project, I wanted to create something that has an impact that feels powerful with the data that I had. I did not have any reference. I did not look for any reference, unfortunately, it doesn't mean I don't know the visual. I've, I've been doing VFX supervision, effects supervision for quite some time, and I have a mental visual library that is quite immense, I would say. So, I don't have, in many cases, I don't have to, you know, go research certain references. I can just say, okay, I want this visual. I know that this is going to work. And this is unfortunately not something that I can teach you guys. It just comes with experience. And you have to learn to look at things, analyze them, and try to ask, ask the question, what does, why this shot makes me uh, interested to look at it makes it interesting to look at it what is special about this what is the visual composition what is the how is the weight or the pieces being separated all these uh, interesting behavior try to analyze them with real reference if you try to google you will find uh, if you try to f uh, find references on youtube you will find a lot of demolition demolition is not this it's not a kong going through a building you will see uh, controlled demolition where they will make the building try to crumble in a very boring way you will see a whole building just get squeezed like a box and and these kind of sims if you take that and you wanted to recreate it in houdini i will just take the building and delete the bottom half with a delete a, a box and just animate the the building to go down in the y-axis just delete the whole bottom half and use uh, the outer ring to emit dust that I wouldn't even bother to use an RBD sim with that because that's how it looks in real life. Uh, there is a lot of cool reference that you can see you know the natural bending and, and metal and things like that and how the structure is tied together that's something you have to always look look for but as for destruction and things like that is generally with movies where you can find um, uh, uh, good references, especially old movies um, before maybe 2006 and uh, 2008 and before that where RBD was not that much used and was really expensive. So in that case, they were they would go in and do, you know, small set, uh, scale sets and stuff like that. And with those things, you can see like how they would approach that problem and, and you will get a lot of visual that looks interesting. So in terms of reference, to be honest, try to do your research, see what um, looks interesting to you and try to come up with something that visually looks interesting, not just um, technically has a lot of features or it took you five years to do it or anything like that. Just try to focus on what the visual needs to be and what you need to do to get that visual that you want that you think is uh, interesting. We will continue talking about this, but um, uh, for now, I, I really like you guys to explore this field and try to come up with something that is unique to you. 
Uh, as for the techniques, uh, I'm very confident that these techniques that I'm going to show you will be able to you will be able to solve any kind of complex destruction house building terrain ground stadium um, a small uh, wall fracturing uh, car crash anything like that you'll be able to do a city you'll be able to do a street multiple buildings anything like that you just have to think about um, the topic that you would like to do and then reuse these techniques to implement and solve the problems that you have you have obviously will face you will obviously face problems they will not have but w after going through all this workshop content your houdini knowledge will expand your problem solving skills will go uh, to a, a, a higher level and you'll be able to solve your own problems hopefully in the future if you are active in this uh, on discord and and during the session we'll be able to help you with ideas as well thank you guys for watching and see you in a bit bye bye